Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am going to take you guys through another haul. I've just done a massive ASOS order. ASOS is normally very, very, very hit and miss for me. So this should be really interesting. But I've got a holiday coming up and I also have a wedding coming up in summer as well. So I've definitely been on the lookout for more like her friendly summer pieces as well as some cute kind of wedding-y guest dresses as well. So there's going to be a little bit of a mix going on in this video. I'm going to take you through everything, size, fit, quality, pricing, all of that jazz. Um, yeah, so let's crack on. Oh, before I will tell you my sizing, generally about a size 18, a UK 18, maybe a 16 on top and I'm five foot seven. So let's just dive in. Okay, so first item I have on is this midi dress <laughs> from New Look. So this is like a midi sleeveless um, kind of knitted dress in this really nice sagey green colour, which seems to be very, very in right now. Um, I got this in a size 18. The sizing is actually spot on. It's like following my body, but it's not super, super tight. Um, does show, obviously, some lumps and bumps and stuff. But actually, I've tried on a lot of these kind of dresses and normally I absolutely hate them and I find that they're too boxy. This one's actually really, really curve friendly. So I'm pretty impressed with that. Um, quality's really good as well. The only thing I don't think I like is the neckline. I would rather that kind of came in a bit more because I feel like it's just making me look a bit bulky. I also would wear it with a belt. I don't like this kind of massive expanse of material. So I'm just gonna chuck on this belt. This is like my go-to belt. You guys have probably seen this in every single video. I would personally just wear it with a belt. Just to kind of break it up a little bit and cinch my waist in. I feel like that looks better. Let me know what you guys think. I'm not 100% convinced on it. I don't know. I just don't know if it's the most flattering dress. But anyway, so it's actually a new look dress. This was £27. The sizing is really good. I love the colour. Um, I feel like this would look really good with a tan. Um, I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Right, apparently I like this style of dress so much. I ordered it twice. This is actually an ASOS design version of the dress. Very, very similar. I actually prefer the kind of neckline of this. It doesn't come out as much and I feel like it doesn't make my shoulders look as bulky um the fit is very similar this is also a size 18 very curve friendly i think this is asos design curve this one has a split a slit <laughs> going down the leg um this one's slightly thinner knit which is probably better for summer um very similar price as well this one was 28 and the other one was 27 i think so very, very, very similar dresses. I think like for the, I like it that it's thinner because I think it's more breathable. The fit is extremely similar. I prefer the shoulders on this. So I would say this one, but I actually prefer the color of the other one. I just don't know if this is a bit too, you guys know I always wear like black and I'm trying really hard to kind of like <laughs> brighten up my wardrobe, especially in summer and I don't know if this is a bit too vibrant. I love the lilac, but it is quite punchy. So I'm a little bit torn, but I definitely actually think that this one is a little bit more flattering, a little bit more. So drop me a comment, which one do you prefer? Green, purple, I can't decide. I feel like I wanna keep one of them. Right, next dress. I feel like this is so close yet so far. Um, this is another ASOS design dress. It's like a, I think they call it a dobby. Like the kind of fabric on it has that, whatever you call that, dobby vibe to it. Um, I love this colour. I think this is such a nice colour. It's like a really kind of subtle green. So this top bit is that kind of like sheared, elasticated 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 vibe you have these sheer sleeves which i think are really really cute 
But my main issue is like, why does it just stop right under my boobs? And it's just like that. I feel like <laughs> it's just not flattering. If that came down lower, like it would be better. I always have this issue. This feels like more of a smock dress than anything. Um, I got this in a size 18. I say sizing is spot on. It's kind of elasticated, so it obviously has like a bit of give to it. Um, it's really nice, floaty. I think this, I don't know what I ordered this for, but I think it would be good for just like everyday wear, but potentially you could actually get away with it to a wedding, depending on what the vibe was. Um, I think it's like double, double lined. So you've got a little skirt under there with a top bit as well. Um, yeah, I do like it. It's just not flattering. I feel super frumpy in this. So like I said, it's an ASOS design dress. It does say smock dress on it. So shame on me for not realizing that. It just looks so different on the model. On the model, it, it comes down there. So yeah, very, very different vibe. The postman's just been those like, stop because I'm too embarrassed to film the windows are all open and everything. Anyway, um, so it looks very different on the model. Like it definitely comes down way lower. It looks far larger on her. Like, maybe if I sized up a couple, but, oh, yeah, I don't know. It just looks very different. So this was in the sale for £33.75. Got it in a size 18, but I wouldn't say it's like her friendly, really. So I'm going to return this one. Okay, next up, this is like a wedding dress, guest vibe dress but it is too small. So, oh God, I'm struggling to breathe. It's like choking my boobs out. So basically it's this cami strap style dress. Ignore my bulky bra straps. Um, it does have, it, you know, it sits on my waist perfectly. It does have these little like drawstring things that you can like tighten it up and cinch them in. I got this in a size 18. It's from ASOS Design again. Oh my god, like my boobs, I cannot breathe. There's no zip on it or anything. You have to like shove it over your head. But it's nice that you have this to be able to like cinch it in if you want to. It is double layered again. So you have this like, I don't know what we call this, like slip layer underneath. And then this bit is nice and floaty and it's pleated. So you have that kind of look of it being, you can see the slip underneath, which is shorter but it's nice and kind of long and floaty and it has that really nice kind of pleated design. I love the navy blue. I think it looks really cute. Um, but yeah, I feel like this is a really good dress to wear on like holiday or out in the evening, all of that. You can kind of dress it down with stuff as well, like put on a denim jacket and some pumps and I think it would still work. So I do really like this. I think I'm gonna order it in a bigger size and I think it was 32 pounds. Let me double check. Yes, yeah, 32 pounds. So I actually think that's really cheap for a kind of like wedding guest dress. The quality is like good, but it's not amazing. ASOS design is so, so hit and miss that uh, I'm not surprised, but yeah, I do like this. Hopefully they have it in a bigger size because I definitely want to order this again, but it's definitely gonna have to be a strapless bra job. Okay, next dress is this one so this is a collared kind of wrap over dress i kind of like i love those like tuxedo vibes so this is a true wrap in the fact that you like button it up it's not like one of those fake ones you slip over the top has this little belt to kind of cinch it in but obviously it's like you can take it off and put whatever belt you want on which i love has wrap over detail but I'm pretty impressed because normally, because this is also ASOS design, and normally with ASOS design especially, the wrap over like never wraps over enough, in my opinion. This actually, like, I have to kind of go like that to get my leg out. So I'm pretty impressed with this. It's a really good length as well. A set of the debate for me. <laughs> so online this says bright orange. I think this is red. I don't know if I'm like going mad. It's definitely like an orangey red, but I would say it's red. But online it definitely looks more orange and it says that it's orange. Um, 
yeah so my kind of idea for this was like evening out on holiday that kind of vibe but again like you guys know that everything i order i like to make sure that i can wear it multiple occasions i would wear this out and about during the day as like a run around kind of dress in summer as well whack on some converse or something sunnies and like it's that nice kind of smart casual vibe so you can definitely wear it loads of different ways i thought this could actually be a wedding guest dress as well the only thing i'm not in love with is that kind of pleating on the back there i'm not i'd rather it was just like plain to be honest but i actually think it's a pretty good dress this is 40 pounds which i don't know it's on the pricier side especially considering that it's um asos design i can't remember if i said i got it size 18 it's like it is tight on my waist but it does fit and it fits everywhere which is great um but yeah i think i really like this one actually i think i'm loving it more for like holiday evening vibes on holiday i think it'll be really really cute um and i like that it's low cut but it's not like my boobs are out you know so i think i'm gonna keep this one okay this is the last dress um i'm a little bit torn about this one so this is another midi dress although it's quite a long it's quite a long midi dress so really similar to before you've got a slip underneath nice kind of floaty pleated chiffon layer on top as well um I, I'm, I'm loving lilac at the moment i'm like really drawn to it so it has this kind of check detail to it and right you have to wait for the back so it has this kind of tie detail to the back. I've not tanned my back, hence why it's so white. But basically you have, these are all super, super stretchy straps. This top one is a super stretchy strap. And then this bottom one is one that you tie up. So I'm not wearing this with a bra and that's what's kind of given me the support is that tie strap. These are too stretchy <laughs> to be honest. Like they don't provide any structure to the dress whatsoever i wish that these were a lot more elasticy if that makes sense like a stronger elastic but they're literally just like so so loose it's ridiculous um yeah i think i bought this with the intention of wearing it to the wedding but i don't know i don't think it's wedding appropriate i'm not sure but i do think it's a really cute kind of holiday dress the one thing that I'm not vibing with is actually the checks. I would prefer it if it was more of like a that dobby kind of like spotty vibe. But for some reason, like the checks just don't really sit that well on this type of dress. I just don't think all the different vibes are going together. Um, but I love the colour. Let me tell you how much it is. So this is £42. It looks absolutely stunning on the model. Like really, really stunning, which is hence why I bought it. But now that I've got it on, like, I just don't really think I do like it. But for 42 quid, I'm not going to spend 42 quid for, like, a holiday dress that I'm probably not going to wear that much. It's um, a size 18. Like, it's difficult because I feel like with these straps, I need to go down a size because that one across my back is, like, so, so loose. And it keeps on, like, riding up. But I can't get away with it on this kind of bit here i need an 18 so i'm gonna have to return it but i do really want to know what you guys think whether you think it's cute or not i do really like the color i think that's the thing i like the most about it but i'm gonna have to return it <sighs> okay guys right i am squeezed into this outfit <laughs> i'm not very comfortable um okay so anyone who has been watching my channel for a little while will know that i struggle so much with shorts so so much i've got like i carry a lot of weight on my hips thighs bum it's just always a disaster but i love denim shorts i love the way they look i love cute outfits with denim shorts so i'm always like on the hunt for some really cute denim shorts i don't think i found them but I will see it, still keep on hunting. So I got this outfit um, with denim shorts. Um, so these are from Dr. Denim. I sized up and got them in a size 20. 
and like they just fit. I kind of wanted them a bit. I like that really vintage Levi look with the high waisted um, and then kind of like a little bit looser around the legs. But this is what I really struggle is that normally when I size up, <laughs> they're like way too big around here and then they're like okay around here. These ones I'd say are like, they're quite long and they make me feel like, I don't know, like the kind of shorts that you'd wear as a toddler. Do you know what I mean? Like, I find it difficult to get a good balance between hot pants and like quite long. Maybe I'm being a bit dramatic. I feel like maybe if they were looser that I would like them more. They do have really nice kind of frayed detailing to them. That's one thing I absolutely love with shorts. They have like really nice distressing. They are super high waisted. I really like the wash of these, the colour. Maybe they actually do these in like a really good extended range of sizes. So maybe I'll just reorder these in like a size or two bigger because I do like them. And actually, now that I'm wearing them, like they do fit my figure quite well. Like they fit me the same all over. Whereas normally they're like suffocating my bum, like way too tight. And then they'll be loose up here or I'll have like gaping. Like I don't think I've got any gaping with these really, which is actually pretty good. So I'm kind of changing my tune on these a little bit. Hmm. Let me talk you through the top as well and then I'll tell you how much everything is. So this top is actually a Nike top. I love this colour. It's like a really nice kind of dusky um, clay kind of colour. Um, I got it because it's kind of like a sports bra but it's a top. Um, I got this in a large and don't get me wrong, I, I love it. And like... You could wear this on holiday with no bra, like everyone loves that. Especially like one thing I struggle with is when you've got boobs over a certain size, the straps are like shoulder bolder holders. So it's really difficult to find a comfortable bra that will look cute under a strappy top. So my thought process was just buy a strappy top with a bra built in, job done. Um, I do really like this. I got this in a size large. I think it's like the perfect length, but I think I wanna get it a size bigger because this keeps on wanting to like roll up. But the reason I got this top was to wear it with like cute shorts or even I thought this would be really good with like high-waisted jeans with like a jacket over the top or something like that, like layering it up. It is super comfortable, but it's literally just this like, it wants to roll right under my boobs. Um, but then again, if I get a size bigger, I might lose a bit of the support on the, on the boobies. So, I don't know, maybe I'll keep it. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Let me tell you how much it is. Okay, so the shorts are 24 pounds, which is actually like a bargain. And I do think they're good quality. I think I just need them bigger, I reckon. Um, I got them in a super light blue. They are the sky high denim mum shorts in bleach wash. Okay, um, and then the top, like I said, is from Nike. It's the Yoga Luxe light support crop top in the dark maroon. I actually say this is medium support. I feel like Nike is selling yourself short there. Oh, it was only 20, 21 pounds. So actually I think considering it's like quite a good capsule item and it's from Nike and it is good quality, like it is super soft. I actually think that's a really good price. So I'm gonna decide whether I want this in a size bigger or not. And then I reckon I'm going to keep this, reorder the shorts, job done. Right guys, I had one last outfit, but the skirt doesn't fit, but I wanted to show you anyway, because it is so, so cute. So this is from Naked, is it called Naked? Like that. Um, anyway, so it's like a little skirt with this kind of really cute like flouncy detail on it but the fabric is like really nice kind of linen-y vibes so I thought this would be so so cute and again it's one of those things you can dress it up with heels wear it out in the evening wear it on holiday um or like wear it with some cute little converse or something I got this in a size 18 it will not go over my bootay so pretty upset and this was in the sale for I think it was like 11 pounds 50 but 18 is the biggest size that they do. So 
if you're an 18 or smaller go and check this out because it is the cutest I don't really want it but it just doesn't fit I feel like this would have looked so so cute on and it looks actually like the perfect length as well so pretty upset about that um last item I have to show you not the most flattering um similar to the top I just had on a second ago I thought you know I'm a genius I'm gonna buy tops that have built-in bras for summer just after lockdown I feel like I wear underwire bras less and less and less so thought I was being genius this is horrible though um I think this is from ASOS 4505 which is their active wear brand um so it's like a white vest top has a built-in bra the quality of the fabric is really bad it's quite see-through may have to blur some stuff out I'm not sure um it's just like it feels like really cheap active wear like material it's it's quite stiff actually it does have a kind of little keyhole thing in the back so design wise i think it's really cute it is supportive because my boobs aren't moving but it's not comfortable like it's just i would need it a size bigger but i don't want it a size bigger because i don't like the fabric and it's squishing my boobs into like a roll around my body which is not it's not a cute look so as per usual it looks really cute on the model uh, i got it in a size 16 which is probably why it is so small um and it was 18 pounds but i really don't like the fabric the nike one had that really nice kind of soft buttery soft feel and the nike one's only like two quid more i thought it was way more flattering way more comfortable far better quality i think this is really overpriced because it's shocking quality Oh, right guys, I am sweating after that. Um, it's really, really hot today. Um, I hope that was interesting or useful. I think the things that I'm gonna keep are the Nike sports bra top thing, um, that red kind of crossover summery, the ready orangey dress. Um, I think I'm gonna reorder the shorts in a bigger size and I'm gonna reorder that navy blue dress in a bigger size as well, I think. Um, and I'm kind of torn between those two dresses I tried on first, like the green and the purple one, whether I want to keep them at all <laughs> or which one I want basically. So let me know what you guys thought of those bits, which were your favourite bits and let me know what you think about those midi dresses because I'm honestly really, really torn about whether to keep them or not. Um, but yeah, as per usual, um, ASOS very hit and miss. I also did a H&M order last night. I seem to have a lot more luck with H&M than ASOS. Um, but if you are looking for really, really cute, comfortable um, and practical summer stuff, I just filmed a Halara haul. Um, I will link that here because they have some really awesome like dresses with like shorts underneath and stuff like that. So I'm definitely gonna take those on holiday with me. Um, yeah, go check them out because I've got a discount code on that video as well. And watch this space for the H&M one that's gonna be coming up really, really soon. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for lots more fashion, lifestyle, home renovation content coming your way. And I will see you guys in the next one.